And hot Colorado weather we know always means the high risk of wildfires. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez got an in-depth look at how crews are preparing in hopes that we do not see another historic wildfire season for the second year in a row. The grass may look luxuriously green in many parts of Colorado, but for mountain residents and wildlife, the fire danger is high and about to get higher. We'll be approaching triple digit temperatures in the metro and we'll climb into the 80s in the high country. With these hot and dry temperatures, we're going to be expecting that grass to dry really fast. Ashley Farinacci, the Platte River Fire PIO, says recreators and high country residents will need to be very cautious all summer long. With one loose spark, one um, dragging chain, one abandoned wildfire, that grass is available and the fire is going to zip right through that. With July 4th around the corner, fireworks are a concern in many communities, especially those with abundant grass. So fireworks are never allowed on uh, National Forest System lands. Uh, but, you know, and, and a concern though with, with 4th of July is just the number of people that are out with potential fires and there are different activities. David Boyd, public affairs officer for the White River National Forest, says people need to make sure campfires are extinguished. They need to make sure not to park on dry grass and that if they're using chainsaws or weed whackers, that they're functioning properly with spark arresters. And plan ahead. The Jeffco Sheriff's Office says register your cell phone for code red emergency notifications, mitigate the fuels around your property, and have an emergency plan in place. Jenny Fulton told me by phone, you should practice your evacuation route. Because sometimes, if, based on which roads end up being closed, you may not be able to take the route that you think you could take. Ashley Verinacci says crews lucked out in the Platte River fire because it moved into rocky, scraggly terrain. It makes it harder for firefighters to access, but there's less fuel to burn. She says if you're planning to recreate in the high country this summer, no what the fire restrictions are. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.